A circle with radius 6 is externally tangent to a circle with radius 24. Find the area of the triangular region bounded by the three common tangent lines of these two circles. Okay, so I've gone out and drawn us a diagram of these two circles, as well as their three common tangents, um, which I have drawn in purple. Two of them are common exterior tangents. One of them is the common interior tangent. And um, the triangular region we're trying to find the area of is labeled QED, along with some of the other points I've also labeled. We want to find the area of triangle QED. So. First of all, um, I'm going to claim that this angle over here is a right angle. And the reason is because um, this, this, this bigger circle is tangent to this line. So O1C is perpendicular to the tangent line. And, and similarly, O2 is O2C is perpendicular to this line because um, the smaller circle is tangent to this line as well at the same point. Um, next, I'm going to claim that Q is on the line 0102, it's, which is also the intersection of the two tangents. And this is by symmetry argument. Um, Q must be on the line containing the two centers because the Q has, um, Q has two um, equal tangents to the smaller and larger circles as well. So for, for all those reasons, QO2C is collinear as well. So this angle is a right angle. and QC is perpendicular to ED. And that's going to help us because now we know that the area of QED is equal to half times the base times the height, right? The area of any triangle is half times the base times the height. We're going to use ED as our base and QC as our height. So the area of QED is half times ED times QC. And that's really cool because now all we need to do is find QC and ED. Let's start with finding QC because we already have part of it as six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label QO2 um, with a variable. Let's call QO2X. This segment is X. And I'm going to go ahead and label some other right angles. This angle is right because O2F perpendicular to this tangent and O1A is perpendicular to the same tangent, so this is a right angle as well. And because of this, we have triangle QO2F is similar to triangle QO1A by angle-angle similarity. Both of both those two angles are right that have remarked, and this angle is equal to itself on both of those triangles. So triangle QO2F and triangle QO1A are similar triangles. And because of this, what do we know? We know some similarity ratios. First of all, this radius is six, this is radius is 24. So our similarity ratio is um, the bigger one to the smaller one is 24 over six, which is also, let's take a look at the ratio of their hypotenuses. Um, O1Q is equal to 24 plus six plus X, which is 30 plus X. And O2Q, the smaller hypotenuse is just X. So 24 over 6, which is equal to 4. 4 is equal to 30 plus x over x. Therefore, if you multiply both sides by x, you have 4x is equal to 30 plus x. 3x is equal to 30, and x is equal to 10. So we have our x is equal to 10. And what does that mean? It means that qc is 10 plus 6, which was 16. Now let's find um, ed and you can notice that ED, um, the, the midpoint of ED is actually C because of our, you know, our, um, our congruence. You have this angle's right, this angle's right. Um, QC is equal to itself, as well as um, this angle being equal to that angle just by properties of like, you know, the, the two tangents, this, the segments and angle bisector. So, um, EC is equal to CD. So if we can find one of those, we can just multiply it by two and find ED. Um, so I'm going to change my colors again. And how are we going to find EC? So what we're, what we're actually going to do to find EC and by extension ED is we're going to take a look at a different right triangle, QEC. This right triangle is actually similar to the other right triangles we had, like this one over here. And why is that? Well, simply because right angle, right angle, and also this base angle is equal to itself for both of those right triangles. So you can add 
um, another triangle Q EC to this similarity, big similarity. And because of this, well, take a look. Um, triangle QO2F is a 6, 8, 10 right triangle, right? Because 6, 8, and 10 satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared. So we, we, we can find EC because we already know one length. QC is equal to 16. So EC over QC, which is 16, is equal to 6 over 8, the ratio of the two legs, 6 over 8. Therefore, EC is equal to 12. And we already specified that EC is equal to CD. So ED is equal to 24. So let me put 24 there. Um, half times 24 times 16, that's the area of triangle QED, which is what we wanted. So we can just calculate half times 24 times 16, which we end up with 192. So we are done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.